What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and I'm here at the historic Filipino Town Arch in Filipino Town, Los Angeles. This is one of the first places where Filipinos settled in the early 20th century. And though there are many strong Filipino enclaves in Los Angeles, this is still the, well, most historic. Let's get into it. And this is another episode of the LA Taco Neighborhood Project. And I just wanted to iterate, make sure you're checking out their guide on the top restaurants and tacos in all these areas, including Filipino Town. The story of Filipinos in Los Angeles begins in 1781 as one of the 12 original founding families, the Pobladores, was led by Antonio Miranda Rodriguez, a Filipino. Now, Rodriguez doesn't always get credit as one of the founding Pobladores because his daughter was sick in Baja, California. And once he came to Los Angeles, he was immediately reassigned to Santa Barbara due to his expertise with armory. But the first modern wave of Filipino immigration to Los Angeles, in California in fact, didn't happen until 1923 when 2,000 Filipinos, mostly men, arrived to work and study. Within a few years, there were 12 Filipino restaurants, seven barber shops, a newspaper called the Philippines Review, and the Manila Portrait Studio, which all helped buoy the Filipino diaspora. By 1933, the Filipino population of Los Angeles had more than tripled and religious and social organizations began popping up at the core of the Filipino community. In 1945, the Filipino American Community of Los Angeles was formed, which to this day is the oldest nonprofit Filipino organization in the United States. Around the same time, many Filipino Americans started working as citrus workers in the San Fernando Valley, where they would go on to develop strong Filipino enclaves wasn't until the 1950s that Filipinos could legally purchase land in Los Angeles, and that's when their impact was felt citywide. Many Filipinos fought for the United States in World War II and used the GI Bill to begin purchasing their first homes. Many Filipinos moved into what is now Little Tokyo, but was known as Little Manila, and started establishing restaurants, shops, pool halls, churches, and of course building their families. And even though Little Manila was considered the center of Filipino population at that point, Carson, Long Beach, Glendale, Cerritos, West Covina, Panorama City, and Eagle Rock all had strong Filipino presences. Finally, in the 1970s, conversations about an official designation for historic Filipino town began, and Filipino investors banded together to build a Filipino town business district. As Filipino grocery stores, offices, schools, and restaurants came up, Community leaders began to lobby in earnest for an officially designated Filipino neighborhood modeled after Chinatown, Koreatown, and Little Tokyo. This was important because around that time, Filipino Americans became the largest Asian American group in the United States, and of course, Los Angeles as well. As the fight for official recognition of a Filipino town ensued, in 1995, the largest Filipino American mural went up in Westlake, Iliseo Art Silva's Gintong Kasasayan, Gintong Panama. The mural celebrates prominent Filipino-American activists and neighborhood heroes. And finally in 2002, then-Councilman Eric Garcetti sponsored a bill officially designating the area as historic Filipino town. And even though the Filipino influence is felt everywhere in Los Angeles, historic Filipino town gave the neighborhood a name and identity and much-needed visibility to the Filipino community, which is so prominent in Los Angeles. All right, LA, it's been a minute.